Welcome to A to Z Summary YouTube channel. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the novel The Murder of Roger Ackroyd by Agatha Christie. For regular updates I request you to subscribe our channel, also you can join our community by becoming a member of our channel, you get access to a whole range of exclusive perks that will take your experience to the next level, so, what are you waiting for, joining our channel membership is easy, just click the join button below to unlock all these amazing perks and support our channel directly. Your membership helps us create more content and improve our videos for everyone. The themes of the novel are The characters in the novel are The Murder of Roger Ackroyd by Agatha Christie is a classic detective novel featuring Hercule Poirot. The story revolves around the murder of Roger Ackroyd, a wealthy man, in his home. The twist in this novel is its unique narrative style. The story is told through the eyes of Dr. James Shepard, a local physician, who turns out to be deeply involved in the crime. The novel stands out because of its unexpected twist ending, which reveals the murderer in a surprising way. The key to solving the mystery lies in the details and the narrator's reliability, making the reader question what's true until the very end. The story is set in the quaint English village of King's Abbot. The narrative begins with Dr. James Shepard, a local physician, recounting the events that led to the murder of Roger Ackroyd. Dr. Shepard introduces himself and his life in the village, painting a picture of a peaceful and orderly place. Roger Ackroyd, a wealthy and well-regarded man in the village, lives in a large house called Funley Park. His life, however, is filled with personal strife. His wife has passed away, and his stepson, Ralph Payton, is a troubled and estranged man who has fallen on hard times. The night before the murder, Ackroyd is having dinner with Dr. Shepard. During the meal, Ackroyd receives a phone call from a mysterious woman who seems to be in distress. After the call, Ackroyd reveals to Dr. Shepard that he has been receiving anonymous letters detailing a secret about his late wife's death. He is particularly disturbed by the call and the letters, fearing they are connected. After dinner, Ackroyd retreats to his study. Dr. Shepard, who is familiar with the layout of Ackroyd's home, Here's a strange noise coming from the study. When he goes to investigate, he finds Ackroyd dead, stabbed to death. The study's door was locked from the inside, making the crime scene even more puzzling. The next morning, the local police, led by Inspector Jap, arrive to investigate the murder. They quickly determined that Ackroyd had been killed with a dagger. The study's locked door and the lack of any clear evidence make the case complicated. Dr. Shepard introduces the reader to Hercule Poirot, a retired Belgian detective who happens to be staying in the village. Poirot, who is famous for his meticulous and methodical approach to solving crimes, is persuaded to take on the case. He is intrigued by the unusual circumstances of the murder and the enigmatic nature of the crime scene. Poirot begins his investigation by interviewing the people closest to Ackroyd. He speaks with the household staff, including the housekeeper, Miss Russell, and the butler, Parker. Each of them provides insight into the relationships and dynamics within the household. Poirot also interviews Ackroyd's stepson, Ralph Payton, who was recently in trouble with the law and has a strained relationship with Ackroyd. As Poirot delves deeper, he discovers that Ackroyd's personal life was rife with secrets. Ackroyd's niece, Flora Ackroyd, who lives with him, seems to be particularly affected by his death. Poirot learns that Flora had been engaged to a man named Jeffrey Raymond, who is also a suspect in the case. Poirot meticulously examines each suspect's alibi and motive. Ralph Payton, the stepson, is found to be in a precarious situation due to his recent financial difficulties. Jeffrey Raymond is another suspect because of his romantic involvement with Flora and his own financial struggles. Poirot also uncovers that Miss Russell had a contentious relationship with Ackroyd. 
She had been in the house on the night of the murder and was privy to many of Ackroyd's secrets. The butler, Parker, also comes under suspicion, as his role in the household and his access to the study put him in a questionable position. Poirot continues his investigation with diligence and attention to detail. He examines the anonymous letters Ackroyd received and discovers that they were written by someone who knew intimate details about Ackroyd's family. Poirot's questioning reveals that many people had reasons to harbor ill will towards Ackroyd. During his investigation, Poirot finds that the phone call Ackroyd received was from a woman who was later identified as a mysterious figure in his life. Poirot interviews her and learns more about her connection to Ackroyd. Poirot also interviews the villagers and pieces together information from various sources. He finds inconsistencies in the testimonies of those involved and uncovers hidden connections that were not immediately obvious. After gathering all the evidence and conducting numerous interviews, Poirot assembles the suspects to reveal the identity of the murderer. He explains his findings and the reasoning behind his conclusions. Poirot reveals that the key to solving the case was understanding the relationships between the suspects and the motives behind their actions. Poirot identifies the murderer as someone who had access to the study and was motivated by personal grievances and financial gain. The intricate details of the crime and the cleverness of the murderer's plan are laid out by Poirot, who demonstrates how each piece of evidence led him to the solution. The final revelation ties together all the clues and motives, providing a clear and satisfying resolution to the mystery. Poirot's skillful deduction and thorough investigation uncover the truth behind Roger Ackroyd's murder and bring justice to light.